Hello friends, this video on electricity and circuits part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. See, what are electrons? Now, you see so many things around yourself, right? So when you look around, uh, you will see uh, chairs, tables, walls, buildings, sky, water, so many different things, other animals, a lot of things around you. Now, anything, anything in this universe that occupies space, that occupies any sort of space, whether big, um, big space or small space or extremely tiny space, so anything that occupies space is matter. So basically, anything that we see around ourselves, they are all matter. And this matter is made up of smaller units called molecules. So when you look at water, what is water? Water is nothing but H2O. That is hydrogen and oxygen molecules form water. Similarly, when you look around yourself, you see so many different gases. Like you see carbon dioxide, you see oxygen, you see methane. So all these what are they? These are all molecules. So basically matter is made up of matter is anything around us, any object, bottles, pen, pencils, paper, everything. In fact, our body also is matter because we occupy some space. If we are sitting on a chair, we are taking up that space on the chair. The chair is lying on the ground. So the chair is also occupying some space. So anything that is occupying space is matter. And all matter is made up of smaller units. And these smaller units are called molecules. So several molecules together form matter. Now, when you go even deeper, you see that each molecule is made up of even smaller particles called atom. So one molecule, it's like matter made up of many molecules, one molecule made up of many atoms and when you even dig deeper, you get to see that atom consists of three types of particles. So these are called subatomic particles. So we are now, it is all the more tiny. So in fact, molecules and atoms are things which we cannot see with our naked eye because they are very very small matter is something that we can see but molecule again is too small to be seen atoms are too small to be seen now obviously something of which atom is made up of they are definitely going to be even smaller so atom is made up of three types of particles they are proton neutron and electron so basically anything around us contains all these particles because anything around us is matter and that matter contains molecules molecules contain atoms and atoms contain proton neutron and electron so these three particles they are very much different from each other so protons are positively charged particles electrons are negatively charged particles and neutron are neutrally charged particles that is neutrons do not have any charge they are neither positively charged nor negatively charged so these protons and neutrons are present at the center and this center is positively charged and it is called nucleus so this is the structure of the atom now I do not want to consume a lot of time talking about the structure of atom because this is something which you are going to learn in your higher classes. So for now you should just understand that anything around us is matter. Matter is made up of molecules. Each molecule is made up of atoms and each atom is made up of electron, proton and neutron. So it is, it, these are these electrons which when flow constitute electric current. So basically electrons are the ones which we are talking about right now. So now you can understand that from where do we get electrons because basically anything around us contain electrons. Any object which we see, every object will have electrons within them. So now the question is, we said that in a wire when these electrons move that constitute electric current. Now, is there a specific direction in which these particles move, in which these electrons move? So, do we have a specific direction in which electric current flows? Now, what happened before was electrons were not discovered long back. So, electric current, people got to know about electric current even before electrons were discovered. So, that time they did not know that these are the electrons which uh, move and therefore constitute electric current. So they thought these are some particles and they thought that these are positively charged particles which when flow constitute electric current. So they said, so the scientists that time said that the direction of current is going to be from the positive terminal 
of the battery towards the negative terminal of the battery because that is the direction of flow of the positively charged particles. So this direction was termed as the conventional current because that was the convention which was followed that time. But later when electrons were discovered scientists got to know that it was, it, it was not the positively charged particles but the negatively charged electrons which constitute electric current. So that time see, they said that no the direction of current should be from negative terminal towards the positive terminal. Now what happened? Both are opposite to each other. So in, in the earlier days they said that current should flow from positive terminal of the battery towards negative terminal. Later they said it should move from negative terminal to positive terminal. So this created a confusion. So to avoid this confusion. So all this while I have been talking about positive terminal, negative terminal. So what are they? Now as I have mentioned before that Protons are positively charged particles, right? Now, in the earlier days, scientists thought that protons are the one because of which electric current is formed. So, when protons flow, electric current is formed. So, that was the thinking before. But after electrons were discovered, they got to know that these particles whose movement caused flow of current, they were not protons but electrons which are the negatively charged particles. So when, so when they thought that protons were the charge carriers, that time they assumed that since these are positively charged particles, so they will come from the positive end of the battery towards the negative. So you see any battery, if you look at any cell at your house, maybe you even if you look at the pencil battery, you will see that one side is positive, the other side is negative. So as per conventional current, the current would flow from the positive terminal of the battery towards the negative terminal of the battery. That means in this direction. Whereas as per electronic current, the current should flow from negative terminal to positive terminal of the battery. So basically the, the, the direction of conventional current and electronic current are just the opposite. Now this would have, this created a confusion. So some of them thought it is uh, from positive to negative, some of them thought it is from negative to positive. So to avoid any kind of confusion, it was unanimously decided that the direction of current will always assumed to be the conventional current because th that had been followed from earlier days. However, actually the electrons flow from the negative terminal towards the positive terminal but the direction of flow of current is always taken from positive to negative terminal because that is the convention that has been followed since ancient times. So that is how the confusion with regards to direction of electric current was solved. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.